Hey, what's going on everybody? Hey, today's video is gonna be just a little bit different. Uh, today is a little bit more of like a vlogger-esque style video. I've always wanted to do these types of videos, but uh, as you can imagine, just being a dad, working full time, doing the whole thing, pretty much anything that anybody's watching this probably also is doing, uh, it's always a little bit tough to make it all make sense <laughs> and it, it, for even it to be just generally worth watching. Uh, but you're probably wondering why I'm like sitting in this basement and why there's like a gym looking situation behind me. Well, we're gonna get back to that in a little bit here, but first we're going to the zoo. We are on our way to the zoo. The zoo. The zoo. Zoo! We've got a membership to a local zoo here. We pretty much go there every other week, especially when the season is right. Oh yeah. And it's tight, and it's delicious and nutritious. So uh, we do a couple things. We, we go to the zoo, uh, have an awesome breakfast beforehand made by none other than the amazing HQ herself. Uh, and then also too, one of the things that Hannah made for me today is this delicioso uh, Asiago. Is it Asiago? It's Parmesan. Parmesan bagel with bacon, egg, and what kind of cheese is on this? Cheddar cheese. Cheddar freaking cheese. Get it in your life. And then the other thing is too, Hannah for Father's Day, she got me a mocha pot. If you don't know what that is, it looks like this. And uh, it makes some pretty delicious coffee. Hey, in the comment sections, I want to know. I want to know on a regular morning, what kind of coffee are you drinking as far as the make, the model, the thing that you did to get it in the cup? Because lately, Hannah's been killing it with this mocha pot situation. So yeah, but the kids are ready. They're pumped. We'll see you guys at the zoo. Boom. Yo guys, we are at the Akron Zoo. Tell us about it, boys. You excited? They're focused on what they're gonna see. That's awesome, yo. So, you guys are gonna get some slick, delicious B-roll today. Let me see here, boom. Some slick, delicious B-roll from the zoo. So, check this out, we'll see y'all in a second. How do you think the uh, zoo's going? Is it good? Thumbs up? Thumbs up? It's good. Did you see the, the snow leopard trying to eat a mountain goat? That was crazy, right? We just finished the zoo, right, H? Yeah. Yeah, it was a rad time. Always a good time. Piper, did you, Piper, did you have fun? Thumbs up? Yeah. Thumbs up, Thumbs that's up. right. Cool, and one of the things that I mentioned at the beginning was that we do a few things on zoo day. I completely, like completely, forgot to mention that donuts. Hearts! Hearts! Donuts are the absolute must. Oh, we're just trying to find our, our vehicle as well. And we're on the other side. <laughs> We just saw a Cisco truck. Do you guys know it's like the food, what do they do? Is this like food distribution yeah, for uh, yeah. commercial like places, like a zoo, like mm -hmm. this? Just saw that. Every time I see those, you know what I think of, Hannah? Cisco song, a thong song. The thong song, yeah. baby. You know it. <laughs> okay. So we got our donuts and literally the second that we get in there, our kids in the very like, physiologically sound selves they are, realize that, man, I need some hydration for this. And so, Hannah, what did we do? Donuts in the car. Donuts in the car, in the car. Guys, are the donuts good? Thumbs up? Did you get chocolate with sprinkles? 
much. <laughs> that burp. And Hannah, what, what donut did you end up going with? I got Boston cream. Boston cream? Yep. Right on. That's gross. I hate Boston cream. But hey. It hates you too. Well, that's fine. Honestly, I don't even want to what visit its house. What did you get? Oh, I picked it for you. I got you lemon filled. Ah, oh, bless America. Shame. It's like you married to me. It's crazy. It's craziness. But cool guys. Hey, so we are on the way home. Hannah, you got a really, really cool doctor's appointment for our babe today. I do. Yeah. What are we hoping for? Oh, I, I don't. I have to go to my checkup and then they order me an ultrasound. Ordering you an ultrasound. Yeah. So what you're hoping for is you're hoping to get an appointment to have an ultrasound yeah. to find out the gender yeah. of our baby. Yeah. Hot dang. Hot dang. It's big time, big moving today. So while Hannah is doing that stuff, once we get home, uh, I'm probably going to hang out in the living room and play some Kingdom Hearts 2 with the kids. Cause you know, these guys over here, the funniest part about it is that they love Kingdom Hearts for all the Disney characters and all the Pixar characters. They're quite partial to that world. So, should be fun. They always love it. They run around the room, kicking, punching, doing kicking everything. And punching. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'm raising very great warriors in my home that do a lot of damage, but hey, it's fun. <laughs> Hey y'all. Well, we got back in the house and literally no one was interested in watching me play Kingdom Hearts. So, like we said before, Hannah is at her doctor's appointment. The boys are just busy hanging out in the living room. Probably will come in here every now and again for uh, the little bit of vlog we're doing. But hey, like I said, I'm going to be trying to just kind of breeze through a little bit uh, with some of what's going on in Kingdom Hearts just because we're playing this again on uh, Saturday this week, which just may be out already by the time that it even hits. But not even a big deal. So we just, uh, we're gonna be playing this game and I, I've just been taking so long with it that I figured I might as well go ahead and, you know, actually try and beat some additional worlds while we're here. But um, that being said too, is like, there was a tweet that I saw the other day. Um, it was pretty interesting. Uh, I forget the, the person that did it. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys right here-ish uh, what it looked like. Um, and it talked about just this idea of, hey, guys, you know, stop calling female streamers uh, attractive or beautiful and start telling your wife that. Uh, and the thing that was kind of <laughs> interesting to me is that I've always told Hannah and I've always told um, other people that stream and things like that that I know uh, that I like the idea of not trying to like compartmentalize. And I, I promise that this is going to make sense when it all comes together. And what I mean by compartmentalize is I don't like the idea of having my family, my wife, my life so far away from streaming uh, in the things that I do that I almost make a second life for myself. Uh, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. It feels kind of grody. Um, it feels like it gives me the option to be someone that I'm not uh, or play a part that in, in my life that I'm not really. Um, and to some people, that's that that can be exciting. Uh, other people, uh, it can be very damaging because you forget your identity, you forget what's important to you because you've kind of like lost sight of that. And one of the biggest things that I've seen happen a lot uh, is people like don't spend time with their families. They don't do things like what uh, we did today by going to the zoo because they try and make it seem like uh, you know doing content creation or doing different things like uh, streaming or making YouTube videos or whatever it might be is almost more important uh, than spending time with your family. Uh, and it kind of shows its stripes uh, in that same message that the person on Twitter said, because at the end of it all, like if I am spending so much time on the internet and not with my family and not with my wife and not with any of these things like that, I'm gonna find myself looking to like, fill spaces that my my life is not filling uh at that moment and i'll find myself you know looking at other women saying you know things or or other men for that matter if uh, you are female or otherwise like i mean it's just one of those things like if you're if you're not using the just the things you have in your life in your actual life uh to, to you know give you that value give you that worth and, and you give that same worth and value to other people you're gonna try and make up that same kind of thing if you're you know living a compartmentalized life 
away on, on Twitch or YouTube or whatever it is. It's super unhealthy. Um, so, you know, I don't know who, who needs to hear this. This is just me ranting, ultimately, while I'm playing some games here. Uh, just about the fact that, you know, I think that it's really easy if you're going to try and build things on the internet uh, to try and forget who you are and forget what is most important. You say hi. You look like right at the camera and say hi. Well, you guys, at this point, I think we're going to at least wrap up playing some of the game. We beat one world, which was kind of my quota for the day, just to be able to get a little bit more ahead before we start our stream. It's happening tomorrow, actually. Um, and of course, if you guys haven't ever checked out the stream before, we do stream currently right now, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you like this kind of game here that you checked out today, feel free to check us out then. We play all kinds of stuff. But uh, we're gonna be doing a little, little something uh, in a few minutes here. We're gonna be breaking down uh, this area I've got in the basement uh, that you might have saw at the beginning of the video. So we'll catch you there. And so, yeah, like I was talking about at the beginning of this whole video, this whole area uh, we're in right now, it's kind of a deeper section. Uh, we've been blessed with, you know, when we purchased this house, we had a larger uh, section in the basement. We uh, basically took a lot of gym equipment that we had when we had moved here and maybe purchased a little bit more also um, and just uh, installed it in. And we had kind of a gym setup. And that's been really, really cool to have for as long as we've had it. Uh, the one thing though with it naturally is that we are having a fourth child and we don't have a place upstairs uh, to put it in our main living quarters. Um, and so while I've had a streaming area uh, down there up to this point, or up there up to this point, uh, we're going to be transitioning some stuff down to here. Uh, and so this whole area back here um, is going to turn into the new streaming area. And so as you can tell, it's pretty bare. Uh, we've got, you know, power right here on this wall, right here where that I'm pointing. Uh, but other than that, it's just bare walls. So uh, on one side, people be kind of ticked that they have to move their stuff and they have to spend effort and time and do all these things like that. Uh, but on the other side of this fence is, it's actually really cool to be able to kind of just take a blank space uh, and reimagine kind of what things could be like if we did it again. Um, so there's a lot of really cool ideas that I've thought about, I've talked with other people about, I'm interested to really see where it all goes. Uh, but I guess my question, maybe to you guys, uh, if you've been streaming for you know six months or more and you have your setup, is there anything that you would change about it right now if you did it all over again? Uh, for me, there's a lot of different things. I think um, living and working inside of the technical production realm of things. I think that lighting is really, really cool and really, really crucial. Um, and one of the things that we can do now with having like the studying and everything like that uh, available for us to mount things to before we put additional pieces up top uh, is we can actually capitalize on having good lighting without you know exposing too many cables and also positioning everything perfectly. So honestly, out of everything we could be doing, that's my favorite thing uh, that I'm excited about. But, you know, this whole video in general, if you guys are interested in watching more of this vlog, day in the life style video stuff, uh, just let me know. Um, it did take a, just a hair more effort to do, uh, but I would be willing to do it again if it's something you guys are interested in. So hopefully you liked this one. If you did, uh, you know, hopefully we see you on the next couple videos, dropping those comments, hanging out with us, uh, and even again, hanging out with us on Twitch. So love you guys. See you.